Hi everyone! Welcome to another video review. I'm Jenny of CraftTestDummies.com and today I want to give you a quick overview of some new dry adhesives on the market. They're produced by I Love to Create and it's the Eileen's brand. Now a lot of us have used tacky glue, Eileen's tacky glue, forever because it's that nice thick grabby glue that you can use for crafting. Well, they've decided to enter into the dry adhesives market. So I wanted to kind of give you an overview of the products that I've had a chance to try out so far. Um, and we're going to start off with the sticky dots. And they're actually called tacky dots. They come on a roll. Um, they have two different sizes. They have a miniature size that is 3 16 of an inch. And then these larger ones, which... Um, are about a quarter of an inch across and I'm going to show you on how they look on the roll. As you can see they are completely clear and see-through. They're also very flat. They're not going to add any dimension to your project which may be what you're looking for. But if you're looking to um, adhere something like flat buttons these are really great. You just literally put your embellishment on the backing sheet or flip it over and because it's see-through you can position it exactly. And when you peel it off you get a perfectly flat, see that shiny, perfectly adhered embellishment. So these are very handy. Um, oh, now where am I going to stick my button? I'm going to put my button somewhere. Boop. Okay. Uh, so I was playing with some uh, tags yesterday, and here's one that I created, and I used this little flat button embellishment from Buttons Galore and more, and this is my tug test. And as you can see, I'm just kind of tugging it with my thumbnail, and it looks like it wants to rip the paper. <laughs> and I don't want to do that because I'm going to use this. Um, but it does adhere very well. Um, and remember those mini ones I was telling you about? The 3 16 of an inch? I had to put on this little teeny candy cane mm -hmm. embellishment. And you can see how thin it is. Um, those little sticky dots. I think I used only three. And it stuck it on perfectly. And because they're clear, you don't see them. Um, they're kind of nicely hidden in there. So that's the tacky dots. Oh, here's um, how the tacky dots look on a roll. Okay, you can kind of see that. My one ding, and here I put a little rhinestone embellishment on so you could kind of see how it looks. My one ding is that there's a lot of release paper and the dots are spaced really far apart. So um, just seems a little wasteful. Like they could have found a way to put more dots on the roll and use less plastic. But that's me, I'm a little, you know, eco-minded. So then they also have the tacky line roll. And it comes two stuck together. I separate mine. This is my little handy dandy tip. I pulled it apart and cut it with some scissors so that I would have one roll at a time to deal with because how can you possibly manage two rolls at a time? Anyway, um, so here they are. Now, these are actually a little thicker than the dots. So I have found that they actually do add a wee bit of dimension. Not enough to be considered like a 3D effect or a pop dot, but just enough so that it will raise the surface. Of course, sticky lines, such as these, yes, are very good for adhering ribbons and yarns. You can just put this down, rub your ribbon on top, and you know it's not going to go anywhere. Um, however, my favorite use for the tacky lines are um, to hold down loose things like glitter, flocking, microbeads, even foil. So I wanted to show you on this tag, I made this little homemade tag and you see this sparkly bit right here? Yeah, that's glitter. And what I did was I put down, ooh, I got a nice shine there. Um, here is one line of the tacky line, and then I sprinkled some Martha Stewart bronze glitter. I burnish it down with my finger, and it, you know, it, it's nice and metallic. Here I actually have two lines on the bottom of this one. So, uh, and then on this tag, I used some clear snap foil. So for me, this is awesome because I love to use glitter. I love to use micro dots. I love to use... Um, and micro micro beads, not micro dots, micro beads, um, and flocking. But the question is, are you going to use a wet glue that then has to dry tacky? I'm just saying that this is my favorite application for the tacky lines. So that's that. Um, next, we have some tacky sticker sheets. 
Um, there's also a tacky sheet. So there are two different things, and I just kind of want to share the difference. Um, the sticker sheets have basically teeny weeny little dots of adhesive. And my one thing on this is that they're really sticky. It's so sticky that it's hard to actually get the release paper apart. You're going to want to have a nice uh, pin handy or an awl or something to help you out. Here I have separated the sheet and I have put on a punch that's pretty delicate. It would be hard for me to glue that. And I, you can't see the little micro dots at all. But the idea is you put your fancy embellishment down, you put the release paper back on, you kind of rub it around to burnish it on. Then when you go to take it off, which is very challenging to do up in the air, by the way, you have little dots on the back, like so. Okay, now there you can see those little dots. So that way you get them where you want them and you don't get them where you don't want them. Again, it's the advantage over um, a wet glue. This is why dry glues are so nice. Um, now, I will say, as I show this to you, there is a little bit of smearing. They do spiderweb a little bit a bit. So just keep that in mind. If you have something that's super intricate, I don't know. You might want to try a Xyron instead. But um, they're really handy to have around. And I had another tag around here somewhere with one on. I will find that in a minute. But um, those sticker sheets are kind of fun to play with. And then the last product is the um, tacky sheet. Tacky sheet, not a sticker sheet, a tacky sheet. And it, again, also comes as a sheet like this. This actually is kind of nice because it has um, an opening in the back, so you can get to it easily. So these you can either lay a, an embellishment down, trace, and cut because the release paper is on two sides, or, as you can see here, you can try punching it. For simple shapes like this snowflake, it worked awesome. For this more intricate Martha Stewart punch, not so great. It's okay. It doesn't have to work for everything. Um, but again, these are perfectly clear. And here's my little uh, example. So I punched out the snowflake. I layered it on top of a punch. You see that shine? That is the punch snowflake that I just put some glitter on top and then burnished it down. And then you can see right here in the middle, I used a micro uh, mini dot to adhere a little gem in the middle. So what I can tell you is that I'm finding that they are all really good at adhering. They are doing the job of sticking things down and keeping them stuck, which is what's important. Um, it's a brand that we've known for a long time <clears throat> by a company that I feel is very reputable. I love to create. Um, the only thing I can't tell you about is price because I had a hard time finding it. It's still kind of new to the market. Uh, it was hard for me to get a good price point to share with you. So research it online. Keep your eyes out in your local Michael stores uh, or perhaps Joann's. And um, then maybe you can tell me if you think if the price is a good one. But in the meantime, uh, cool products, something to try out, and uh, I hope this was informative, that it gives you a nice overview of the different products and which one might be the right craft product for your crafty project. Thank you so much for being a part of the Craft Test Dummies community. I hope you'll visit me at www.crafttestdummies.com and maybe even visit me on my new blog, which is www.crafthoarders.com because you know you're one of us. All right, thank you so much. Have a crafty day.